Morning. Uh, it is a nice and beautiful morning out here and I'm listening to the birds on the front porch. I have not had my coffee yet, so I'm sorry if I uh, appear or sound a bit tired still, but it's a good day. It's a good Friday and we'll see what this weekend has in store for us. Let's start out with a prayer and then I want to talk a little bit about something that I'm doing today and how it made me think about um, what a life of faith is all about. But uh, let's start out with a prayer and then we'll get right into it. Let us pray. God, thank you for today. Thank you for the beauty of your creation and the different ways that we get to experience it. Thank you for the opportunity to wake up this morning and uh, work with you in the world to, to make it a better place. We ask that you fill us with your spirit today so that we can go out and follow you into the world to do what you have called us to do today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today I'm up a little early because I'm trying to um, get a few things ready for a friend to come over and us to do a couple of house projects. I still have not acquired all the tools I need to do certain projects, so it's nice to uh, have friends who have those tools and the ability to, to look at a project and maybe try to complete it in just one day. <laughs> so that's what I'm up to today. Um, I have not gotten to the point of homeownership where I am uh, proactive in keeping up with projects though. <laughs> and so that, that comes back to bite you sometimes. I am good at seeing something that needs to be done and then months later doing it. Uh, that's one thing. We have a long to-do list of things that we know we need to do. Um, but I'm not good at just regular maintenance to make sure that emergencies don't happen as often, things like that. Uh, and that I think is something that I'd like to learn <laughs> how to do, um, but you know, you have this big house and most of it's behind walls. How do you know what, what you need to do and when, uh, if you can't see the problem sometimes? That's that's the issue with home ownership for me so far. Uh, but we haven't had any major issues, so we're, we're crossing our fingers that that continues. I was thinking about how that might relate to a life of faith, though. Um, I think sometimes we, we get into crisis situations and we don't know exactly uh, how to hold on to our faith or, or what, what role our faith might have. Uh, we might leave our faith behind at certain moments. Um, if we do proper regular routine maintenance on our faith, if we're constantly uh, praying and, and studying and, and in conversation with each other and um, trying to figure out what God is calling us to do, if we constantly have God on our mind when we're making decisions, maybe things are a little more natural uh, and if that is the case, then when we do have emergencies in our lives or when things happen that kind of throw us off kilter, then perhaps our faith is strong enough and uh, grounded enough that it is a helpful thing in those situations and that we get through those things. Um, I, I'm thinking of, of immediate situations of loss or um, big changes in our lives. We lose a job, we have to move. Uh, those kinds of things. Sometimes it's hard to have a tight grip on our faith when things happen in our lives that we don't expect that might kind of throw us off a little bit. But if we are not just repairing our crises of faith and we are regularly maintaining them, sort of like a little bit of proper homeownership, then perhaps our faith can make it through some of those more difficult times and not just make it through, but be a really big piece of how we make it through those difficult times. Uh, those are some thoughts that I was having today as I prepare to do a couple of home projects today. Um, and hopefully they go well <laughs> and hopefully they inspire me to be a little more proactive on keeping things up to, to date here at the house. But um, the, what are your thoughts about how faith sort of comes in and out of certain situations? What are some moments in your life that you have um, had to really repair parts of your faith because of something that happened in your life? Or where are some times that you might have even left your faith behind because it was just too much work to try to hold on to it during a hard time in your life? Um, how do you try to repair your faith when you when you have crises of faith in your life? Those are some questions I'm thinking of today. And what do you do so that maybe you're doing a little proper, proper routine maintenance on your faith each and every day? Is it prayer? Is it conversation with people? Is it making sure you're going to church once a week? Is it simply thinking about how wonderful it is to be in God's creation? What are some things that you do that are sort of daily things that keep you grounded in your faith um, so that it's there for you when you need it the most? Those are some things I'm thinking about today. Let's end with a prayer and then we'll hop right into the weekend, see what things 
happen this weekend and, and hopefully you'll have a good one full of rest or if you're working hard then uh, hopefully you get some time to just enjoy yourself too uh, to balance it out but let's pray and then we'll get about our days and our weekends let us pray god what a gift it is to have faith in our lives uh, we are grateful for our relationship with you which helps us to uh, get through the the good days and the bad days of our lives we ask that we have the courage and the energy and the awareness to strengthen and hold on to our faith each and every day not just when we think we need it the most but every day of our lives the the days that are a little more mundane the days that are full of grief and, and overwhelming things in our lives the days that are full of joy and uh, celebration help us to have faith each and every day and to do things in our lives with each other and in our own individual time to grow closer to you so that your presence is ever more obvious to us when we have moments in our lives when we have doubts about that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Uh, and hopefully it's a good one. Man, I pressed the wrong button. All right, now I'm leaving. Bye.